I'm about to show you how you can take incredible screenshots like these on Enshrouded. Now those screenshots you've just seen are a glimpse at what's possible with this incredible tool. Uh, those screenshots belong to both Jim 2.0 and Yul Keki. I'm almost certain I probably said that wrong so I apologise if I did. But the cheat engine table that makes this possible was created by Jim and someone called Scal Edit. Massive props to them for giving us the ability to do this in the first place. Uh, there's links to these guys below, check them out and give them a follow. They have some incredible other screenshots that you should check out from some other games. So how do we do it? First, the setup. First of all, you're going to need Cheat Engine. When you get to the Cheat Engine website, I wouldn't be surprised if you miss the download button. It's really hard to find. But when you do find it, click download and then we'll go through the installation process. Now don't worry, you're not going to get into any trouble. It sounds worse than it is. We're just using it to manipulate the time of day, the position of the sun and various other bits and pieces to set up our scene. Once you've got Cheat Engine installed, make sure you download this Cheat Engine table. It will give you everything you need to set up your scene for the perfect photo. Once that's downloaded, open it up by double clicking on it. Now before we move on with that, we're going to go here to get Reshade. Reshade is going to give us a lot of other options to tinker with in order to create a really nice and unique look. This could be depth of field, it could be adding a fake HDR, tinting the colours, all sorts of cool stuff. Whatever you want to do to get your shot looking just how you want it. Um, just a disclaimer, this isn't a tutorial on how to take creative shots and it's definitely not a photography class. I'm going to give you guys what you need to get set up and then it's down to you to take amazing screenshots, which with a bit of practice I'm sure you'll all smash. Okay, so once you've downloaded the reshade, it will ask which game you want to use it on. Now we're going to select Enshrouded, it should just show in the list. It will ask you which packs you would like to install. Now these are just additional community packs that gives you more options to play with. Uh, for the sake of this video, we're just going to stick with these here. Once you're done, we're ready to head back over to Cheat Engine. Now since we opened this earlier, you should see these controls at the bottom. If you don't see these, make sure you ran the Cheat Engine table that we downloaded. Now make sure Enshrouded is running, this bit's really important so, so that you can see it on Cheat Engine. So I'm going to boot my game up now. Once that's up, if you click this TV looking icon just here, then click Enshrouded and this is why it needs to be running so that it shows up in this list. Okay, we're ready to go. So how do we actually use it? So firstly, let's start with the reshade. Now by default, when you load, this, when you load the game up, it's going to show you a little tutorial that takes you for a very brief tour around the interface. Now I'm just going to skip that for now. I'll show you, I'll tell you what the main button is at least to get you started, but you can follow the tutorial when you load it up. Uh, just need to know that once you're in the game, it's the home key to bring up the UI. And now we basically just play around with it. To keep this brief, I'm just going to select HDR. And once you have a look that you're happy with, Let's have a look at playing with our camera position using the Cheat Engine. You can see in the Cheat Engine, it gives you a very quick overview of the controls here. However, if you're weird like me and you prefer keyboards with no numpad, you can change the hotkey to something you, ha you actually have access to on your keyboard. So for me, I think I've just changed it to like F9 because that doesn't do anything else for me. And that will bring up the camera mode. Now you need to make sure that you leave this on. It does tell you on here, but if you tick the get camera on, just make sure that's on, otherwise, you won't be able to move your camera around. I found that out the hard way. I was a bit silly. I wondered why my camera wasn't moving. Just make sure that's on. Again, you can toggle the HUD, so you can do it in game or you can do it in here. Personally, I leave it on in the game and then I just do it in here. If I try, I try to control everything in one place. If you press F4 to toggle the time of day, you can use your brackets to go forward and backwards in the time of day. It does like a brief skip. There's a few extra options here that you can play with. I'll let you guys have a play with it and see what you can come up with. But this gets you set up to basically take some incredible photos, get your camera in the right place, and let's see what you can do. Let me know in the comments how you get on, and if you have any issues, let me know. If there's anything else you'd like to know, leave a comment below. If you've liked this video, then make sure you tell me by clicking the like button. Give it a subscribe, because there'll be other videos like these in the future. And uh, yeah, stick around for some more Enshrouded content. I'll see you guys in the next one.